Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you the new 3D printer I bought. Uh, this 3D printer I bought it for uh, making plastic enclosures for my GPS tracking devices and any other uh, electronics devices which I make. The product was shipped from say, Jack Republic and uh, the amount which I paid was about 62,000 rupees which is equal to 759 USD plus uh, $80 shipping charges and after that I incurred about uh, 18,568.19 rupees as the customs duty so overall the price of the machine can be said that if you import it to India it can be said that it's about 80,000 rupees so this is how the machine looks it came as a kit and I had to assemble it with uh, all the instructions the instructions are quite clear and everything is given in this uh, manual assembly instructions so the assembly procedure is all uh, given you know like even with images step by step so that's how I was able to build this machine so there was there were no problems but only there was some z axis setting that needs to be set uh, which made the printer work properly after that okay so this is how the printer looks as you can see it's printing an enclosure right now i am using green abs filament so these are the filaments which I got for printing my device enclosures. These are all ABS materials which are uh, strong enough to withstand uh, outdoor conditions. I am storing them in airtight boxes so that uh, they don't catch moisture. If they catch moisture the print quality will be degraded. So that's why I am storing them in airtight boxes as uh, instructed by some of the experienced people on the internet. And uh, So these are the parts which I have printed. This is one of the first parts which I printed for the GPS tracker. I was just experimenting with a uh, top bottom lid type of design so it came quite good I used uh, then I understood that uh, earlier we made some 1mm one, one wall thickness products uh, then we realized that 1mm is not enough uh, to provide enough strength to the enclosure so we stick to 2mm so 2mm is the minimum thickness which you can go for for making enclosures and this is the lid which we made for this so this is the notch paste design So it fits nicely. So what I did here is uh, I have tried some primer on this and tried some sanding uh, which I didn't do correctly for the first time. So as you can see that's where the area is soft here and the other place is uh, by default uh, what's the, what the 3D print parts look like. So this was pre printed at a very quite a rough resolution somewhere around uh, uh, 0.2 mm. So this is how it looks if we sand and uh, paint them. And uh, then the next enclosure which I did was for the wire track V3. This is a much bigger enclosure for the 3G version of the GPS trackers I have. This will have external antennas on it. Um, website name you know. and this is also a lid type of design so I made some red caps for it so this is how it looks I'm still experimenting with what type of enclosures we can make for this so this is this seems to be the easiest way wherein we print the top the box and make lids for it which are having notch and uh, these notches fit tightly into the box and then uh, with this box we also got for uh, got an order to make a custom enclosure for one of our clients and this is what we made for them this is almost same as the Valtrack with 3 GPS tracker enclosure And these uh, enclosures are for my Voltrack V2. These are much small. Uh, I was still experimenting because the we need to have a different setting for the 3D printer uh, when we print smaller objects. Otherwise, they squish at the end. So as you can see here, uh, there was a slight warping at the bottom of the enclosure. So we need to enable some cooling for that. I'm still learning what the printer can do and all the settings in the slicer and all. So, and we also printed this can opener. I bought a bottle of acetone, uh, which I needed to open. So I printed a can opener for this. 
and this is one of the product of our clients and uh, they had sent a 3d model which we printed so this is how it looks so this line is uh, something uh, you know they said that uh, next layer transition so this is this can be avoided if we do some setting in the slicer so this is the point where the uh, where the printer jumps to the next layer after printing the current layer printer is capable of printing overhangs like if there is a if this one was printed like this so the printer was uh, printing like this and uh, you know even though there was no support here the printer printed it perfectly because it uh, drops the lines like this and then covers it on, on top of it so that's what it has done inside okay. and this is the lid of this box I don't know if this goes in like this or this way. So this is one of the prints. And the finest resolution print which I printed in this printer is this frog. So this is printed in uh, 50 micron thickness and this is how it looks. It's quite a uh, soft finish and uh, you can see here you hardly see any lines on it. This one was printed at uh, 0.15 mm. This one uh, the, and all the remaining prints are all printed at uh, 0.2 mm thickness. Since these are uh, bright colors, you are not able to notice the lines in this. But on this one, I think you can see clearly the three different lines. So this is how it looks. And I also 3D printed some of the filament uh, holders wherein we clip the filament to the to its uh, spool otherwise it will just hang or you, again you need to push it through a hole. So if you have this you can just uh, clip it onto the side of the spool. These are all just uh, some wasted prints. These are actually bottom of these boxes the printer was giving some error uh, which was because of some wrong slicer settings I was experimenting with and this is the whistle I printed this was one of the first prints which I printed on the Prusa so this is the whistle it is printed as a single piece and uh, I don't know how it works this is the uh, sunglass holder which I printed using the grey blue ABS filament uh, this will be used to store my sunglasses inside the car this will be attached to the windshield and it will hold the sunglasses this is the 3d benchy which I printed of the PLA filament given by Prusa so this filament came with the machine itself so they give 1 kg of uh, PLA filament grey color so this is how so it has come quite good So this is how they look when you zoom. The finish is quite good. I am happy with it. Uh, these are quite usable, so I don't need to worry about. I can directly make the enclosures for my products for prototypes. So this is my experience so far. This is a quite a good printer. Uh, this is one more uh, color enclosure which I printed uh, using the filament changing technique. So what I did is uh, we printed the box like this and uh, the bed was like this. Once the printing was happening, I paused the print in the middle and uh, changed the filament 
to black color uh, when, when it reached at this point. So I replaced the white filament with the black filament here and after that once it started printing the letters I paused the printing and uh, uh, again changed the filament back to red color. So this is why it's looking like this. So uh, these letters are quite strong, they are strongly attached because uh, the filament will be melted and attached to the bottom part of the layer. So we made a notch based design again for this. So the white track is sitting nicely inside. So there is a and there is a small slot for inserting the lithium battery. And uh, this is a notch based design, so we can insert the lid like this. And you can uh, have access to the USB also for charging the internal battery. This is a quite a nice technique. I'm thinking to make more enclosures using this technique. I also made some of the keychains using this technique and uh, they also came out quite nice. So I will experiment more on this printer and I will keep you posted on what I learn about this printer and uh, any of the things I learn, any of the mistakes I do, I will share on my channel. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe.